this is all still a bit crazy, but I'm just like, can't believe that I've got that out and like, I still now, because I've only just seen it a couple of days ago, now I just keep like touching it and I'm like, yeah. oh. How disciplined it... were you when you were writing it? Yeah, because it took me like half a year to write it, um, but obviously I was filming other stuff in between, but I would just get up on a morning and try and write a bit and then, because I've been very honest, and I would ring my mum and say, I've put this in and she'd be like, are you sure you want people to know that? And then I'd go back and delete it. But then I'd be like, no, I'll just put it in anyway. So it was like a constant battle with myself of how open and honest to be. Um, but most of the time I would write it on an evening and I would just treat myself to, like, food. Would kebab, you? yeah. Every, you, you had 10, a little 10,000 10, 10, words 10, in a kebab. 10,000 words, I would be able to treat myself with <laughs> yeah, a kebab. That's a good carrot. <laughs> like a flag yeah, yeah. yeah, I like that. Um, but, your, I mean, your childhood sounds wonderful. You know, people sort of go back in their childhood and this happened and all this happened, but yeah. yours sounded as if it was full of laughter. Yeah, and, like, I'm so grateful, and it's only now that I look back that I'm, like, I feel I'm so privileged to have had, like, such a loving family and... Yeah, talk all about our Christmases together where we all play bingo and have carry-on quizzes and... Grandad got you drunk? Well, yeah, my Grandad did get me drunk and I was nine. <laughs> but, but what happened is... Don't judge him. What happened is I asked for a pina colada, but it was like a mocktail, but he just went and asked for a pina colada. So I, like, drank half of it and started, like, acting like an idiot, like, going, woo! and dancing at the kids' club, and then my mum had a sip of it and was like, this is, like, actual alcohol, yeah. I was the only drunk nine-year-old in the hall of Salou. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. I still do that. I still just sit with my family and have yeah. a giggle and, and watch the box. But you give quite a good insider info of what it's like to work on that show in the book. Yeah. And, and what you don't see uh, when, when you're watching it on telly is that, that, that it's actually quite a big old system that was put into yeah, place. Yeah, because I think people thought, um, as me, when I first watched it, that's just a little webcam and you just switch on when you're watching Downton Abbey. <laughs> but it's not like that. There's, like, about six or seven people in your dining room set up with big monitors and you've got light. Sure, because you were, as a family, you were brilliant. You were brilliant on oh, it. Thank but the, you. That, that was a choice, wasn't it? Right, the jungle or goggle box? Yeah, and it took about 10 seconds <laughs> to Did do to because, it. like I say, like I still watch the TV. Like I knew that my family and the couch and the telly was always going to be there. I, I can't still now. I'm just like feel so happy that it's lasted this long. Because honestly, like obviously after the jungle, and I was like, well, I think I'm going to have a good like few months, and then more things would come up, and I'd be like, yeah. oh my god, this is amazing. Like, but you, <laughs> you, your background when you were younger, you were a ballroom dancer. I like a really competitive ballroom dancer. Yeah, like I found it fun to win. <laughs> that was like the fun part for me. Yeah, because I, so I danced from when I was about six, and then I stopped in my final year of university because it was getting too much commuting to go on training. But yeah, I love dancing. Like so it was what about in my life. Strictly then, that must have come up on the radar. The thing is, I always feel like I love watching people who are, like, on a journey of dancing. You know where they start and they've never danced yeah. before and then they end up finding a skill, whereas, really, it would be a bit unfair cos I've already danced and how embarrassing if I got, like, a really low score uh, <laughs> and I've and danced all my life. We know how the best of you are, <laughs> so you might kick off. Can you ice skate? I've never done it, but, I mean... You, you're the ones with the connection. Get the contract. <laughs> get the contract out. Make us sign it. Make us sign it. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. What is there left for you to, to do now? Because you're saying you absolutely love this. You love every yeah. aspect of the job. You still loved your job at Asda. Oh, yeah. Still, like, it's just a different kind of love. Like, I loved meeting people and annoying people by asking if they needed a carrier bag when they clearly did because they have yeah. 20 items. And I love art and I loved wearing a green gilet. <laughs> Did you? I mean, yeah, who, who it wouldn't? wouldn't. But yeah, this is really good because it's just every day is different and I get to meet lovely people like you too. And mm. yeah. And you're going back to the jungle because you were doing the ITV2 show. And this is you and Joel yeah. Domit, isn't it? Which is. I'm so great. excited. I can't. I feel like I've went full circle. Like I've watched the jungle, then people have watched me watch the jungle.